The flat earth theory has seen a resurgence, with people trying to prove our planet is not a sphere. There is a growing movement who think everything you know about the world is wrong and is the result of a global conspiracy involving NASA. Which map of Australia do you think is correct, source YouTube? There is a growing conspiracy about the map of Australia and it has nothing to do with the fact it looks like Scooby-Doo. According to a bizarre online movement, the map of Australia is not an accurate representation of how our continent is shaped. In fact, these people will have you believe everything you think you know about the world is wrong and you should blame it on a global conspiracy involving NASA, governments, and scientists. These people are flat earthers who hope to expose the fact our planet is not a sphere. Those embedded in the wild theory believe the so-called round earth conspiracy is something we have been tricked into believing since an early age through schooling and pop culture. The logo for Universal Pictures is heavily used as an example of this apparent conditioning. So how exactly does the world look if it is indeed flat? The flat earth movement believe our planet exists on a giant, flat plain, with Antarctica forming a large ice wall around the circumference. Conspiracy theorists feel the best representation of the flat earth places the North Pole in the center map, which is eerily similar to the UN logo. The flat earth map compared the UN logo. The flat earth map compared the UN logo source supplied. Wait. Is this serious? The idea of the earth being flat is far from new, having been a notion shared by a wide range of cultures dating all the way back to ancient Greece. Despite going in and out of favor, the concept regained serious momentum in the mid-20th century when Samuel Shenton established the Flat Earth Society in 1956. Today, the Flat Earth movement has seen a recent resurgence, with Twitter and YouTube acting as incubators the conspiracy. According to the Flat Earth Society, the most obvious proof of our planet's flatness can be found by looking at the horizon. The horizon always rises to meet eye level. Which is impossible on a ball earth, its website read. Flat earthers claim the horizon will always remain completely flat to the observer, regardless of how high they travel and that people who claim to see the earth's curvature from a plane are lying. How many 500 mile sections of perfectly flat horizon, does it take to make a sphere? 38 people are talking about this. Twitter adds info and privacy. We have testimonies from several pilots saying that no curvature can be seen at commercial airline heights. It has been suggested that aeroplane windows serve to distort the view of passengers and make them believe they see curvature when indeed there is none, the website read. To bolster their argument, Flat Earther suggest if our planet was a giant spinning sphere, the oceans of water would be flowing down to level and covering land, with some rivers also impossibly flowing uphill because the natural physics of water is to find and maintain its level. But what about those pictures from space that clearly show Earth as a round planet? There are a plethora of resources available that show us we can't trust the photographic evidence from organizations such as NASA, the website read. Some of the evidence that these should be discounted include constant changes in their depiction of the Earth, inconsistent lighting in moon footage, and other irregularities. What other evidence do they preach? The Flat Earth conspiracy theorists hold the belief that our planet's sky is surrounded by a huge dome that holds in the air and protects us, with the Bible even making mentioning a firmament in which the sun and moon were placed, Genesis 1:14-19. While extremely complex, the movement believes the sun is actually much smaller and closer to Earth than we have been taught, with the angle of the sun's rays offering so-called proof of this. Flat earthers believe our day and night cycle is explained by the fact the sun and moon are spheres measuring 51 kilometers that move in circles 4,828 kilometers above the plane of the planet. A shift from scientific consensus, which states the Sun is 149.6 million kilometers from Earth. The Sun moves in circles around the North Pole. When it is over your head, it's day. When it's not, it's night. The Sun acts like a spotlight and shines downward as it moves, the society explained. The apparent effect of the Sun rising and setting is usually explained as a perspective effect. Explanation of the Seasons in Flat Earth Theory via Giphy. 
The flat Earth movement also has an answer for the seasons. The radius of the Sun's orbit around the Earth's axis symmetry varies throughout the year, being smallest when summer is in the northern annulus and largest when it is summer in the southern annulus, the website reads. When the Sun is further away from the North Pole, it's winter in the northern hemiplane, or hemisphere, and summer in the south. When the Sun is further away from the North Pole, it's winter in the northern hemiplane, or hemisphere, and summer in the south source supplied. As for the reason why gravity doesn't pull the Earth into a spherical shape, flat Earth advocates have a very simple answer. Gravity doesn't exist. Righto. Don't be so quick to believe. While some of these concepts might sound enticing enough to send you into the flat earther's arms, remember, there are just as many sources that debunk the theory. Like, science. What are your thoughts on the flat earth theory? Continue the conversation in the comments below.